Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. This is just a high speed video of me making 10 cards using some of the papers from the April 2019 Making Cards and Paper Craft magazine. It's jam packed this month with 31 free papers and you also received these really nice images of just different scenes. I think there was 12 of them maybe. They're almost like little postcards. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to create 10 cards all on six by six card blanks. So I'm not going to go through all the sizes. This was just really just to give you some inspiration and just show you how I kind of do it. I have got my cup of tea there and my Tonix tea cake to keep me going. But overall, I think this took me, I would say maybe two hours not too long for 10 cards so it's really just focusing on matting and layering and showing off those lovely papers so you can see this one here how I've done that I'm not really going to talk about it too much I'm just kind of filling the gap rather than having a load of music playing over everything I use my runner tape by taser to stick everything down just for speed and I add foam dimension pretty much on every card on the image or the sentiment just to give it a little bit of dimension you can see me doing that there most of the cards are top folding I just think that you know to me it just adds a bit more interest to the card than a kind of side open and close because most of these cards are happy birthday I was actually requested to make 10 cards for guys so with this issue coming through my door it kind of timed really well so I'm just stamping a load of happy birthdays I like this kind of type writer print and I think that is a nice font when you're making you know cards for guys so this is card number two again six by six card base just pulling in all the bits and pieces now you can see I stopped for that tea cake one card in and I stopped already <laughs> anyway so this one I am using there we go it's like a nice snow scene really cool and I've made it look like a Polaroid photo so I've kept that white area below for me to stamp then I'm just going to go through and pull out some papers, mat the card like the others. The mats, most of the mats are five and three quarters squared and then five and a half squared. That's my basic mats and layers. And then obviously you frame your photos, you know, however you want. But I always find that size works well for six by six. So then this one I'm adding some foam adhesive onto and I just stick it down on a slight angle. And that's card number two. So on to card number three. This was probably one of my favourite images. Just really liked the, the guy and his dog. Thought it looked really nice. I'm using the Big Birthday Words. This is a woodware stamp. Love it. Use it a lot and it works great for both, you know, male and female cards. This print is another nice print. Again, they all work really well because it's all these, you know, ones for guys. So although you can have them for cards for women as well. So then I am bringing in, I think I bring in silver cardstock with this one now to frame it. I think silver actually works really well for guys cards. So, you know, sometimes people are a little bit dubious about bringing in any kind of shine or even sparkle when they're making cards for guys. But I think this works really well because it's almost like a metal. So you can see that I'm just adding that thin strip and I framed the picture, cut it down quite far actually. And um, that one gets stuck down in the middle on some foam adhesive as well. It was a little, looked a little bit lost just against that pattern paper. So I'm bringing in this one here and I end up cutting little kind of flag tails on the ends there. Frame that with some white cardstock. And it just, again, just draws a little bit of interest to the card and fills that kind of area behind the photo. So there we go, with three, three cards in, now we're on to card number four. So I'm bringing in this really bright green colour and that's going to be used with that green card just above. Again, same mats and layers. So that one now is all stuck down again using the taser tapes. It's just nice and quick. And I'm using this woodland scene, which is really nice. So again, you can see how all these images are perfect for, you know, lots of different um, hobbies and interests that that person might have. Now I've just got some of the blue and I've just framed that just plain. And that's just to, again, bring some interest into the card. It's just ways to show you how you can play around with your pattern paper. So they're all on different angles and I thought that looked quite cool. So again, bringing in that happy birthday sentiment, keeping it just on the plain white and I've stuck that one down. Now we're on to card number, oh gosh, I forgot, five? I think we're on five. So this paper here is a, the console, what's it called? The controller, there you go. And then this scene is like a messy boy's bed and there's like an iPad or it should be just a tablet actually and um, headphones, mobile phone keys, all those kind of things. So I've just matting and layering that now, again, framing it with some white. And then I'm just going to bring in that block colour behind just to kind of break up that pattern a little bit there. Really quick. Each card, you know, doesn't take long to do at all. And then that one I'm just sticking down with some foam adhesive. Again, just to raise it up a little bit. I go through foam adhesive pads 
<laughs> so quickly. I always get mine just from the pound shop because I do use them so much. Um, it would cost me way too much if I was uh, buying them <laughs> from somewhere else. And then that title gets stuck down and that's the other one done. So now card number six. This is a really nice scene of the guy just kind of looking out to sea on the beach. So I'm using that paper that looks like waves. And again, I'm framing that with some silver mirrored cardstock, just giving it a little frame either end. And then that's going to be a strip through the middle. So this one is probably the most plain, I would say. It's got the most white area on it, this card. And I'm just trimming that all down. And then I'm going to get that all stuck down as well on top. So again, sticking with the white. So it's quite a clean, crisp card, this one. And then layer that on top of the silver card stock. So again, you can see what I'm doing here. And I just make sure I give everything. It's about a one eighth of an inch border. That's kind of how I, one eighth to a quarter of an inch. That's where I kind of usually am. Stick that all down on foam adhesive and then finish it off with that happy birthday. Um, again, framed with the silver cardstock and that will go on the top. So now I'm onto this sunset image, really nice. Now the paper, it looks like the galaxy, but it's actually loads of paint splats. So it worked really well with this particular picture. So again, just going through there, doing all the mats and layers, cutting it all down. This is when your Tim Holtz trimmer comes in really handy or any trimmer, but I do love the Tim Holtz, especially that small one because it's just really easy to keep on your desk. So this one I didn't add any kind of frame, I just put the pattern paper straight onto the white. Now I love this stamp, so this one says it's your day. So I'm just sticking that down, I've gone around it with a black pen just to add a little bit of like stitching and then stick that down in the middle. Now we're on to card number seven, eight, no that was card seven before, I've lost track. These are cards number eight, nine and ten. So what I'm doing here is the herringbone technique and I have a tutorial that I've shared of this over on YouTube. So many of you love doing this. You are always making it and sharing it over on my Mixed Up Crafters Facebook page. So I thought I had so many scrap bits of paper. I'm going to do the herringbone technique. So I made three cards here that I show you, but then I went on and made another three. So I've got six cards out of scrap paper and it's perfect and it's such a good pattern to use for both male and female cards. It just works so well. So you can see here all different kind of widths, lengths, it doesn't matter. You're sticking it all down onto the double sided sheet, which I showed just, you saw me kind of peeling apart at the beginning. And just each time you wanna make sure you butt up every stripe as close as you can to the next one. You don't want any of that stickiness to be seen or you, you, know, you don't wanna feel it underneath. And you just kind of work with that pattern, that herringbone pattern, and it, it just looks really, really cool. I just, it's one of my favorite things to do. And like I said, it's a great way of using up all your scraps without anything getting wasted. When you go to trim it all off, which you'll see me do in a minute. So even those real long bits, I'm adding to the tiniest part, but because you're gonna cut it in a second, you save it all and it goes back into your pile again. So you just flip it over, go around the edges. You can see I'm just pushing all those bits back into the pile to use on another card. So nothing gets wasted until you're down to the real small pieces. So you can see there the three cards that I've made and then I'm just using this Tattered Lace Happy Birthday die, which is one of my favorites. Again, I love the font of this, I love the size, it just seems to work so well. So I'm just die cutting three of those there for those three cards and they are gonna be stuck onto this white piece of cardstock and then that gets stuck right in the middle of the card. So, these cards probably took me the longest because obviously you're cutting all the strips and then sticking it all down, but I think they've just got the most impact. I just love doing the herringbone technique. So I'm just trimming that down so it's not got as much white kind of, you know, hanging above the happy birthday, but you can see there how great they look. So now I'm bringing in just all the embellishments and just going through now, adding a little bit of interest to each card. Some of them I don't add it onto, but um, the majority of them I do. This one I liked with the arrow and then hashtag happy birthday. Thought that was quite cool. And then this one here, I just add a few little kind of embellishments there to match. I've got these black ones and more matte kind of styles and they work really well. So now I'm just bringing you close-ups of the 10 cards that I've made. Like I said, I did make another three off camera, but I hope you like all these cards that I've made and I've been able to inspire you. Maybe you've got the papers and you haven't got them out yet. Maybe you're thinking of buying the magazine or maybe you even go and buy it now. So do have a go and get those papers used. Don't just save them up. <laughs> Anyway, I'm off. Thanks for watching guys and I'll be back again with another tutorial soon.